Is integrating technology into instruction a worthy pursuit? And if it is, how do we mix technology into our plans? I'd suggest that by choosing this course, you've already believed it is a valuable quest. Teachers passionate about preparing students to better navigate the world ahead of them seem convinced learners' exposure and interaction with technology is inevitable. Students will need to be skilled with using and understanding technology. Our frame of mind is not solely based on gut feelings. Research has shown that technology has had a positive impact on learning. Countless studies around technology in classrooms have been published. Teachers are using video in big numbers to record lectures and show concepts and skills. Teachers are also developing lessons requiring students to use databases, multimedia software, and data collection technologies. These technologies have been shown to help increase understanding and learning. When applied effectively, technology increases learning, understanding, and achievement and motivates students to learn, collaborate, and develop critical thinking. You've likely learned about Bloom's Taxonomy, a process to classify the different learning objectives teachers set for students. Technology can provide immediate feedback to students for drill and practice types of learning. It also offers the ability to support learning objectives and the collection and evaluation of information. Technology can support learning objectives on any spectrum of Bloom's taxonomy. McCrell International is a nonprofit, nonpartisan education research and development organization that turns knowledge about what works in education into practical, effective guidance and training for K-12 teachers and education leaders across the U.S. and around the world. In 2007, researchers at McCrell, including Howard Pittler, Elizabeth Hubble, and Matt Kuhn, took sound strategies for teaching and organized them into a framework for planning instruction. These strategies can serve teachers to create an environment for learning for students. The researchers have developed nine categories of instructional strategies teachers can use along with the instructional planning framework to better help students recall prior knowledge, construct meaning, organize and store information, and make predictions. Approaching instructional strategy from the perspective of these nine categories, while using the table shown here, may help teachers better enable students. A third component of the strategy that McRell researchers developed is a matrix of nine categories of technology, which help us consider the tools of technology and how we use them for instruction. Technology continually changes and the table has grown from seven categories in 2007 to nine categories today. The categories of the technology shown in the table can help teachers look at technology and assess how different tools might serve learning objectives aligned with the different instructional strategies. If we blend the categories of instructional strategies with the categories of technologies developed at McCrell, along with using the framework for instructional planning, we can provide teachers with a roadmap for successfully integrating technology into instruction and better prepare students to learn and navigate the world ahead.